We meet again at the strangest of times, young Econ. So do you serve the Earl of Bristol now? Old Bridget? What are you... doing here? Your friend, the wise Econ. She sent me to warn you. Did anyone see you? It's a long way from the dock sewers, and hunters are patrolling the streets here. Who said I took the streets? How do you think I survived for centuries in this city without ever being seen? I know all her secrets. How did you meet Lady Ashbury? She came to us in the sewers in search of answers. Just as you did. What kind of answers did you give her? I knew nothing of your maker, but we talked. We talked a lot. Her words and ideas are captivating. It is no surprise that you like her. I like her too. Lady Ashbury in the sewers? Now that's a sight I wish I'd seen. She said she was your friend, and that she sought the identity of your maker. So I answered her questions. Lady Ashbury? You know her? Tell me what's going on. The lady approached me but a few nights ago, wanting to meet the sewer skulls. Once she questioned Harriet Jones, she agreed to help us. Harriet Jones is still with you then? How is she doing? Harriet remains angry, but is recovering slowly. Her mind is twisted, but at least her body is healing. Tell me what is going on. The lady asked us to keep an eye on your mortal doctor friend while you were away. We spotted the hunters. They were discussing plans to attack tonight. Wait, slow down. I need to ask you something. I'm listening, but I do not have time to waste, so be quick. Why do I feel like Lord Redgrave was particularly irritated to see you? Far more so than the average skull, if I may say. Because I used to know him quite well. And he is afraid I may remember who he really is. You're Elizabeth's informant. You're the one who told her about Lord Redgrave's lies regarding his lineage. Yes, but my words were not meant to hurt or threaten. I simply told the story of the sewer skulls and of so many other forgotten children. How did Elizabeth find you? She presented herself humbly at our gate and asked if we knew of any ancestral vampires hiding in London. She asked about Ascalon. She asked about many things. Why did she come? I am old Bridget, the buried memory of the city. She sought the silent truths, truths I have kept hidden for so long. What do you think of her? Her soul is good yet tainted with a deep sadness and the scars of ancient wounds. Time does that to us immortals, for we have so much to dwell upon. Where is Lady Ashbury right now? She said she will go home. She needed to speak with some old friends first, though. Do not worry, young Econ. She is no fool and just as strong as you. No time to lose, then. I must go there right away. I shall return to my den. Have you a message for the lady? 
Should I see her before you? Yes. Tell her I love her. Is this still unknown to her? Go now and take care, young Ekon, for the flames are rising.
Stupid beast! Wanderer Cordial can be the answer to all your problems. And I'm to let me see if this Christina is still working nearby. It's like I'm used to seeing death. I hope this fear will disappear someday. Good evening. Wang Shanghao, Dr. Reed. What are you doing with your time now that you're back in Whitechapel? I've decided to help the poor and sick of the neighborhood by handing out medicine. Goodbye.
I'd head back if I were you. Look lively! It's on to us! <laughs> I will return later. Elizabeth, I'm so happy to see you. I was... Oh, Jonathan, I went to the docks. The place heaves with lurking scowls and vampire hunters. So many corpses. I have not seen such misery in so long. Indeed, we stand upon the precipice. Has the news reached you of Edgar Swansea? No. I returned home but moments ago. What of him? Your friend, the well-informed old Bridget, tells me the guard of Prewan has assaulted Pembroke. I fear Edgar tops their bloody list. Bridget? She is such a tragic figure. And yet, I sense deep inside, she has a delicate, fragile soul. Indeed she has. I'm glad you like her too. Once this is all over, I will study the sewer scales. I fear I have made terrible mistakes, founded upon erroneous preconceptions. I was concerned for your safety. McCullum draws too close to you for my comfort. Fear not. I've evaded the hunters for many a year, and I intend to stay far from their gases, flames, and spikes. Now, speak to me of Dawson. I convinced Aloysius to embrace death as the ultimate gift of mortal life. I believe he found peace in the end. The cost must have been heavy indeed. I am proud of you, my love. Ascalon has defrocked me and threatens to hound me from the city. This was, no doubt, inevitable. You did what you thought was right at the time. One can ask no more. The important task now at hand is to help poor Edgar. Now I am assured of your safety. That is precisely my intention. Good. Now go, my dear and return with good news, with the greatest haste. It is I. I'm all right, Jonathan, but fun.
pain. Those bastards. What have they done to Edgar? Looks like he's wounded. I better follow the blood. Ultraviolet curtains and ori calcium powder. Dr. Swansea's always been a resourceful bastard. I bet he never told you he had this installed in case of a vampire attack. Says a lot about how much he trusts you. What have you done with Edgar? Don't worry. We don't kill humans. Even if your friend is deserving of a little punishment for what what are you talking about? We know everything. Swansea and you created this bloody epidemic. You aim to unleash another disaster, just like William Marshall did. No, I'm trying to put an end to it, just like you are. You're the progeny, aren't you? Where is the monster hiding? It's still in England, isn't it? I have no idea what you're talking about. Jeffrey, please listen to me. No tricks. That shit won't work on me. We found proof in the theater. Doris Fletcher was your first experiment. Now where is Marshall? Speak! Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> so much for modern technology. Time for the tried and true. Do you know what this is, beast? This is a drop of King Arthur's blood. The blood of a true defender of Britain. Stronger than your evil powers. This is ridiculous. We're losing precious time. True enough. Soon I'll bring your head before your coward of a father. Come on, Reed. Try something else. as fine as you fit on me. Show some style. Fight like a man. If you're so innocent, why do simple now? Your poisonous point is useless on me. <laughs> Come 
Come on, Reed. Try something else. Close your eyes. This is gonna hurt. We'll pin you down. Show some style. Fight like a man. <laughs> Innocent? Why does simple light burn you so much? Show some style. Fight like a man. Close your eyes. This is gonna hurt. Your poisonous bite is useless on me. If you're so innocent, why does simple light burn you so much? Show some style. Fight like a man. something else. <laughs> Hey, you did. 
down! True light will cleanse you! Come on, Reed. Try something else. Show some style. Fight like a man. Close your eyes. This is gonna hurt. Your poisonous bite is useless on me. Come on, Reed. Try something else. Your poisonous bite is useless on me. If you're so innocent, why does simple light burn you so much? Come on, Reed. Try some dance. Innocent? Why does simple light burn you so much? of a true defender of this land will protect me. Yeah, close your eyes. This 
is gonna hurt. We are the guardian of justice. Prewin shall prevail. You can't accept the fact we're not enemies, can you? <laughs> we always have been, and we always will be. Of all the evils that threaten mankind, your kind are the worst. I'm not saying we could be friends, you and I. But perhaps we could collaborate to put an end to this epidemic. Never! We are pre-win. We do not negotiate. We do not compromise. There is no way you'll ever let me be, McCullum. You'll always hunt me down, won't you? There is no escape, Leech. Kill me now. For there is no way you can sway me to your ideals. That's where you're mistaken. What do you mean?
I'll spare you, McCullum. I'll offer you the mercy you never offered me. What is this ruse? This is no ruse, McCullum. This is me letting you go. After all, you and I are both trying to save this poor country in our own way. I'll kill you, Reed. Next time we meet, I'll end you. See? Progress already. You called me by my name. Until the next time. Goodbye, Hunter. It's alive. It's alive. And it needs a name. I shall call you Lisa.
Good evening, Miss Howard. I need blood, Doctor. I'll leave. Good evening, Doctor. Goodbye, Miss. Good evening, Miss. I'm okay. I have. Good evening, Doctor Strip. And good evening to you, Doctor. Goodbye. Good evening, Nurse Hawkins. Good evening, Doc. Goodbye. Good evening, Milton. Good evening, Doctor. Still trying to save life. I'd wise choice, Doctor Reed. I really love.
So Prewin never left Doris's theatre after they invaded. They must be holding Edgar here in their new headquarters. I cannot enter.
Doris Fletcher was about to become a disaster. I'm getting close to having all the evidence. It's locked. I should find the key to that box. Blood of a pure heart, garlic, blood of a king. I don't understand. Perhaps this is what McCullum drank. I had better keep that in mind. It's locked. Edgar. Edgar, can you hear me? Jonathan, is it really you? Easy. Easy. Save your strength. I'm getting you out of here. Try to spare me. As a physician, I know all too well when it's too late. Punctured lung, broken ribs, internal bleeding. An accurate diagnosis, wouldn't you say? Edgar, what happened? They wanted me to confess. Beat me black and blue. Geoffrey McCollum ambushed me at the Pembroke Hospital. He was convinced you and I were responsible for the Skull epidemic. I never imagined that self-righteous fanatic would... dare to attack us in the open. What became of him? 
To prove him wrong, I let him go. Really? Are you sure that was the wisest course of action? Time will tell. The most intriguing part of his accusation was that you and I were the pawns of some ancient vampire. William Marshall. Yes, they... Uh, they tortured me to make me confess the same monsters. Edgar, as much as I would like to believe you, I have a few concerns that require clarification. What do you mean? William Marshall, for example. You speak of him as if you know him. How is that? Uh, Jonathan, I, I cannot say I'm ready for another round of questions. Why would the guard of Prewen believe you and I created the vampire epidemic? Maybe due to our profession? Because I offered you shelter in my hospital. What can you tell me about William? Not much. History paints the story he was... Why is the guard of Prewen so obsessed with him? He was the only ancient vampire to escape the first great hunt launched by the guard of Prewen in 1854. They believe he's an evil creature plotting his return. Why would he deserve such a reputation? I cannot say. The Brotherhood of St. Paul Stoll has next to no intelligence on him. All I know is that he's supposed to be the oldest of all the British vampires. While investigating the epidemic, I read some of McCullum's findings. I think you have some explaining to do. I have nothing to hide, Jonathan. Do you know Doris Fletcher's real name? No, I'm afraid not. Her real name was Doris Jones. She was the daughter of Harriet Jones. What do you want me to say, Jonathan? Do you remember when we suspected Sean Hampton of... Yes. Uh, Harriet Jones faked her own death. When I found her in the sewers, she confessed she wanted everybody to pay for what happened to her. That woman was extremely bitter. Full of hate. Doris Fletcher visited her mother at the Pembroke Hospital. That's how she first got infected. I know nothing about that. Miss Fletcher once came to visit the sick. That is all I know. No, Edgar, there is more. Doris Fletcher was Harriet Jones's daughter. They exhibited the same symptoms. Blind hate and strong physical mutation. What does this sad story have to do with us? Come on, Edgar. Don't you see the pattern here? The epidemic? The link between Doris and Harriet? The suspicion of McCullum? How could I? I never saw Harriet Jones again after... Do you know where we are? Doris Fletcher's theater. This is where that hateful creature plotted to spread the epidemic across London. I only briefly met Miss Fletcher once when she visited the Pembroke Hospital. You say it was to see her mother. She seemed like such a sweet and graceful woman. My point exactly. The disease turned her into a bitter soul, driven by vengeance just like her mother, a symptom of all the infected patients. Certain diseases are known to produce similar effects. Rabies, for example. And rabies is not the devil at work. Doris and Harriet shared more than a hidden family bond. They were the embodiment of the epidemic and are linked to the Pembroke Hospital. Come on, Edgar, this is no coincidence. I swear I'm at a complete loss. All I did was administer vampire blood to cure old Harriet. There was no evil plan, no diabolical plot. You did what? 
I tested the regenerating and healing properties of vampire blood on Harriet Jones. My only intention was to find the cure for influenza, I swear. Whose blood did you use? William Marshall's? Mine? Lady Ashbury's. While transfusing her with human blood, humanely appeasing her hunger, I also kept samples of her blood for my you research. You used her blood on Harriet Jones? My God, Edgar, that's unethical. You betrayed two of your patients at the same time. Right, I admit it, I boldly ventured into experimental realms, but I've killed no one to appease my thirst for knowledge, Jonathan. I'm no murderer. I never asked to become what I am, Edgar. You chose to conduct your rogue experiments. You have worked beside me. You saw what I'm doing at Pembroke Hospital. Jonathan, you know I'm not an evil soul. Just another victim of this tragedy. No, Edgar, you are not going to die. Unless you want to. What? What, what do you mean? I can save you, Edgar. I can turn your broken body into one like mine. You truly would? After all I've done, I, after all that's been said, you would offer me this gift? I have no way of knowing which punishment would be worse, Edgar. But it is not for me to decide. So? Oh, please, Jonathan, please. I beg you. This is what I've always wanted. This is what I've always searched for. Very well, then. Prepare to die and be reborn. To face an eternity of guilt. I'm ready. Oh, indeed, I am ready.
So Harriet Jones became the original carrier when Edgar gave her vampire blood. I must tell Elizabeth. What good fortune brings you back to me, Jonathan? What is it, my dear? I'm afraid it's bad news, Elizabeth. The worst, actually. Please, speak up. Edgar is no longer in McCullum's grasp. I resolved that matter. Where is our good friend now? Is he well? Of a sort. His injuries were mortal. I had no choice but to make him one of us. To save him. Or to punish him. To punish him? I fail to understand. And what is the source of this cold tone in your voice? Edgar Swansea was responsible for the Skull epidemic, Elizabeth. It was he who unleashed the deadly scourge upon London. What? Are you certain? This is the most terrible accusation of all. He confessed everything to me. He sought to cure the disease, to exploit vampire blood to stop the epidemic, but he unwittingly gave birth to a catastrophe. All those poor victims. How could he do it? What happened? Edgar's behavior was beyond lunacy. He had neither the discipline, knowledge, nor the proper facilities to conduct blood experiments. I must say, I'm shocked, Jonathan. Who would have thought it? And the poor patient. Let me guess. It was Harriet Jones, was it not? Yes. That explains how Doris Fletcher was infected, and how she became an icor. She secretly visited her mother at Pembroke. Then we have no choice. We must act quickly, Jonathan. We must return to the sewers and put an end to the threat poor Harriet embodies. I have one more matter to discuss with you. Harriet Jones was the primary case, but... Do you know what a healthy carrier is? There is a tone in your voice that frightens me, Jonathan. What are you trying to say? It was your blood Edgar used for his experiment on Harriet Jones. What? No. No. This can't be. Oh. Elizabeth. Are you all right? Uh, no, I have to go. What do you mean? Leave me alone. Save the city, Jonathan. Save what can be saved. Elizabeth, I need answers. Why did your blood Stay cause Stay away this? from me. Please. I swear, I never was your Wait. enemy. Wait, no. Elizabeth. 